Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't start my vlog, but we're outside of the Hive Museum. We're going to go in later, like we're really early, because we are meeting up with Chanel, 11 right now. Our time slot is 12.15. Obviously, like, we can't go in yet. We're gonna go get food, because I'm starving, <laughs> and I need coffee. Hello. So we just got out of the Hive Insight Museum and we were just taking pictures and stuff. He couldn't record in there like at all. I took mostly like a lot of pictures so I can talk about my experience I guess like later when I get home and I'll just insert all of the different pictures that I took. But it was so cool and I really enjoyed it. So definitely if you have the chance to go, I would highly, highly recommend it. I also got a lot of things from like the shop so I'll show those to you guys later as well. Wow, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Tamaki Senpai. <laughs> So I got home a long time ago, but Allison was using my camera for their TXT fan sign. I didn't have it to end my vlog. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to sit down and talk to you guys about the Hive Museum more in detail. I figured I would go ahead and show you guys the like TXT stuff that I got from the event for their comeback. So we got these freeze cups are really cool and then we got some fans i got three different fans so i got two subin ones so here's one here's another one i got a yonjun one you can replace i guess one of the fans with this yunin kai one we didn't get a bongyu one or a taehyun one I don't know. Also came with this set of stickers, which you got one for each member. We also got a poster, but here's the poster. I am obsessed, it's so good. Like they look so good. Just look at Subin, please. I will check back in tomorrow with you guys to tell you all about the Hive Museum. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I'm going to explain my experience at the Hive Museum. 30 minutes before your check-in time, the app issues you a ticket. So it's just like a QR code that you use to check in. At the door, they will take your temperature and you have to do your like Corona QR code. Or if you don't have one, I think you can just sign in on the paper the doorway has the like the pictures that are going through i didn't really get that many pictures or like video clips because i kind of was flustered and like rushed we went through the door and then they'll direct you into this like room in the room it's like gated and you have to scan your qr code to get in and then there's a counter where you go and they scan your qr code again and they'll give you your photo card if you had purchased your ticket with a photo card i requested jimin so this is what my photo card looks like and then it has your ID on the back. So this is my Weaver's ID. And these photo cards are so nice, super nice quality. And then after you get your photo card, they make you line up outside of this door. And they will hand you these little tote bags and they just say Hive Insight. Everyone in your group gets the same colors. I think usually there's two different colors for each group. So our group was black and white. And this is how they distinguish what group you're in. You're allowed in certain areas for certain periods of time. In the first room, we were allowed to be in there for 40 minutes. And then the next room, I think, was like 20 minutes. But the first room, we couldn't take any pictures whatsoever. In this room, there's like stuff about the process of making the music. They have screens with the different studios. You can like look around 
around Yoongi Studio, J-Hope Studio, RM Studio. You can see the different layers of music. There's different monitors and stuff. So you can literally listen to tracks and play around with the sound equipment. I think it's super cool. They have like TV screens everywhere. They have dance practices. They have interviews with different members from different groups and they're talking about writing music and all that type of stuff. And it's just really, really cool. So you're in this room for 40 minutes. So you can't take pictures or videos at all in B2. After your 40 minutes are up, they do like a cute 20 second countdown and then this door like opens. You go into the room where there is all of the like the awards, the trophies. And this room is beautiful. It's literally all screens. So they're going through just like the different accomplishments of every group. You still can't film or take pictures in here. So that picture that Yoongi and Jimin posted, you literally can't take a picture in that room. It's really cool. I got so many chills watching the presentation. Everything was just, it was insane. So I think after the like trophy room, you go upstairs and you go into the actual art exhibit, the seven phases, the BTS X James Dean. It has a whole area about the exhibition just in general. Each member has their own kind of drawing based upon them and like their personality. For example, Moonchild was RM, Miao Tide was Yoongi. There's a video playing and the artist, James Dean, he's actually explaining why he drew the art pieces the way that he did and he named them like accordingly based on like each member and Narcissus was Jin, Solaria was Hobi, Champignon I believe that's Jimin, Violin was V and Cottontail was Jungkook. Literally a whole bunch of different art pieces and each character or drawing there's a different like rendition of each member. It was really pretty. So you like walk through the exhibition after you go through all of the art places you go into like this AR game on the Hive Insight app there's literally like a, an AR game and I think it's 20 minutes and you're just going around this room taking like pictures of things I think. I actually didn't play the game because this is the room that Yoongi and Jimin were like draped over that black thing in the center. It's like a sound wave and you can feel the beat of the music when you lie down on it. So that's what I was busy doing. I didn't play the AR game but they actually also had kind of like Guitar Hero you could play it so they only had two songs one 17 song and boy with love it was really fun i did it on both normal and hard mode i'll put my score up on the screen this was the hard mode and there was like one like swipey function that i just could not figure out how to use it properly i thought this room was really sick and we were like the last few people in this room because i was too busy playing this like guitar hero game and then after that you walk into this really pretty hallway and i posted my picture of this on instagram there were flowers on the ceiling it was so beautiful on the wall it has euphoria and some lyrics the euphoria is on the right side and then on the left side there are the holes in the wall hobie took a picture in and then i recreated the picture that's me doing that here you keep walking and you go into this big room and they have the tier your outfits the iconic outfits. There's a whole wall of their Billboard Hot 100 song. You see Yoongi's guitar, like a bunch of really insane accomplishments just like in this one glass case. And then you keep walking and they have this whole wall of pictures of artists. This was called Faces of Music and it was just literally everybody under Hybe. So that's on the right side. On the left side, they have these little, I don't know what they're called. It's like a hole in the wall. It's like motion detected so you stick your arm in front of it or whatever and then it will like rotate It was basically like a smaller version of the dynamite music video set and it just spins around and it's really really cute This is also where Hobie took a picture after that you're waiting to go into like this soundproof room We walked past these music boxes and it was playing. I think it was serendipity. I don't really remember So then we walk into this soundproof room and it's literally just like silent. It's just like LED lights. So the color 
colors are just constantly changing just looks like pyramids on the wall no sound bounces out whatsoever so it's really interesting to like hear the difference it was kind of crazy then we walked in to this movie theater and the artists are just talking about their experience in their trainee days how their hard work and why they do music and it was really beautiful just to hear them all talk about how passionate they are about music and that they know that one day that this will all end the memories will remain and connection that they had with their fans is really important i was so close to crying but i was really trying not to in front of all these people after the theater that's basically the end of the exhibition you go into this really long hallway where you just see all the albums in these glass cases so cool to see just like everything laid out it was beautiful you go into the actual merchandise shop they have lots of stuff they have poster sets photo card sets postcard sets clothes there's room spray they have the upcycled keychains and upcycled like cube things they have stuff for the james dean exhibition too but yeah that's basically the exhibition i thought it was really cool what would my video be without a small haul <laughs> not really small but here's the hive insight bag and I got a few things, so obviously I want to share it with you guys. First, one that you probably don't really care about as much. I got a hoodie. It just says Hype Insight. On the back, it just has like this design on it. I think it was around $75. I obviously had to get any of the BTS stuff. Like I have the PC set, I have the postcard set, and I also got the poster set. So we're gonna go look at the photo cards. The photo cards were $19. So it comes in this really nice case. It says, we believe in music, hype insight. It just looks like a cassette tape. How does this open? On the back, it says BTS has their names. And then when you open it up, you have all the PCs here. So I've never seen these before. June. And they're also bigger than like, I guess the standard size. PC that you purchase with your ticket is like the standard size and these ones are significantly larger. Ooh, J-Hope. Look at that, beautiful. Ah, and you basically get, you get the same. Tay, Jungkook. And then you get two sets. So I guess $19 isn't that bad considering you get two sets of PCs. Jin, Yoongi, so cute. Hopi, Jimin, Tae, Jungkook. Did everyone have two except for Yoongi? Let me know down below if you have seen other videos of people's if I'm missing a Yugi card. Cause like why aren't there two? We can open up the postcard set now. They all look like this on the front. Different colors for different groups. There's an embossed BTS symbol here. You open it up like a little book and I guess you can just rip them out. These are so nice. <gasps> wow, that is beautiful. We believe in music. Wow, most of them, most of the pictures are kind of the same. I love these. Okay, you have to be careful with them because they are like meant to rip. And I can like hear the thing cracking. Stunning. Mm-hmm. Hobie. Oh, did I skip one? Oh my God, I did skip one. I highly recommend getting the postcards and the PCs, honestly. But I'm really obsessed with these postcards right now. Wow, he is beautiful. Good old Jungkook. The last thing I got was a poster set. So the postcards were $22, PCs were $19, and the poster set was $32. Poster set comes in this sleeve thing. It kind of looks like a record. This is cool. It's just a cute fake record type thing. I kind of want to put it on my wall because it looks really sick. They are folded, which kind of sucks. So this one is June's. I'm obsessed with like the flower field vibe. These are only like paper, so you have to be very careful with them. He's back at it again, stealing my heart. They they knew which ones I wanted, and they said, here you go. Ooh, Jimin. Huh. 
Money well spent. My parents might not think so, but I do. He's insane for this. Sickening. So basically all the pictures in postcards, the photo cards, the posters, they're like all the same, basically. These ones are different sizes, so these ones are a little bit smaller. He's flawless. Flawless. Not fair. I hikey want to get all of their photo cards, like the ones that they give away when you buy your ticket. So I'm sorry I couldn't vlog in the museum. It's just very strict. They do have workers walking around all the time. They do ask you to put your phone away if they see you recording. And I wasn't trying to get kicked out of the museum. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. Go follow my Instagram. I'm going to be spamming my Instagram with photos from Hybe for a little while. And I will see you guys in my next video.